All right, I'm trying to pull this motor out today. We got about a couple hours to do it today, so. Taking everything loose, got the radiator out. By the way, this, this is his motor. It's got the bottom end and stuff that come out of Dad's 57 originally. Nine to one flat top pistons. Old hump heads, which is everything I'm gonna be putting right back on it. But, this is what's gonna get me. True, period, correct. A rail 283. Pulling it out. Colton's doing something completely different, so take this out and do some stuff to it and throw it in the 64. But he ain't gonna be using it, and it's come winter times here, so he ain't gonna do nothing else with his S10. He's got a whole new combination he's coming out with, so it's got to come out anyway. So I'm gonna take advantage of it. But got everything loose. Got to take motor mouse loose. I got the cross member loose. And, it's sitting on the jack, the transmission. It's been wet all day. Huh? We can't seem to get a break out here. But this is the first thing we've done since coming back from Super Chevy. I'd like to have done it before Super Chevy, but it didn't happen. Had a bunch of other stuff to do. But it's the way things work sometimes. You want to do a tunnel ram and everything else. It's going to be awesome. That's the same motor that destroyed a rear end a bunch of times. See, there's radiator stuff out of it. Plug wires. That's the same uh, 283 that destroyed rear end. Actually, it's busted about four rear ends. Pulled all three tires, two fronts and the rear off the ground. Come up on one wheel. That last, I think he said it was 7400 launch he took off with. So, that motor, the guts have been absolutely run out of it. So, I trust it. Let's stick it in there. It'd be tough. It's all stock bottom end stuff too. It's pretty cool, huh? So you check this out. You can see for sure. See that breathing tube back here. And look at that bouncer. It's the cutest thing you ever saw. So I'm going to be pulling this out here in a little bit. Hopefully. Knock on wood. Alright. She's almost out. I'm going to let the truck back down. Set it on the ground. It should be high enough to maybe get it partially up. Then grab the back end and just lift the back end up. Scoot the chair picker forward. But... Man, that sucks getting that thing out. All the exhaust on it, it's all welded together. You can't unbolt nothing. It just unbolts straight from the header. Then everything else is welded together, except for the flange right there. But them little shorties, you can't get to nothing. And then the cross member runs across the exhaust, and the exhaust goes all the way out the back, and you can't get the cross member out. So I just had to tap it back as far as it go, then push up on the transmission and knock the cross member crooked, and it dropped out of the way enough for the transmission to drop down. But she's coming out. I'm going to pull it out and set it right there under. Hopefully, it, yeah, it's raining. It's been raining most of the day. Grab the tent, set the tent up. It kept getting caught on this lip. So I crawled over there and pulled it back with my hands. Stuck a wrench in between where that lip is and where that shifter piece is where the shifter handle comes out. See it? Stuck a wrench on there, and then just let it slide across that wrench and over this. I don't know if you can see this lip. Nah. You can see it right up here. But there's a see that huge lip? That's what it kept getting hung on. So Maybe we can get it out it's Stuck in the gravel. This what sucks about gravel. Finally. The thing was on the hill, so you had to dig a little trench out behind it so I could push it back. So I had to dig it out. But it's out of the way now. I should be able to set this down on that tire. And I'm wore out, man. Shoot. Been pushing and pulling on this thing. But there it is. And I'm gonna set it down. I'm leaving. I'm done for today. Alright, supposed to be getting some kind of rain. 
rainstorm, hurricane, something stupid, which don't bother us none. But it's supposed to pour the rain, so cover the motor up. The S10's fine, ain't nothing in there to get hurt. I'm gonna make my way home. Next time, we'll be going in this tunnel around everything. Alright. Alright. 33 out of the S10. I'm gonna pull this out of the 64. A little hurricane, it's all dry today. It rained out like shit, flooded everywhere. Everybody in Charleston is on the coast and living kind of rough. It's all good up here in the mountain, didn't get too bad, so. It was gonna work out here, too, but just couldn't muster up the courage because it, it was a monsoon. It killed it, so. It's hard enough to do this shit out here to drive. So I went back out here, gonna try to put it in there. Mm-hmm. Are we gonna get us that down in there? That ain't no big deal. Yeah. Gonna leave clutch and everything on just like it is. That's the zoom coat put on there, so we're just gonna leave it on there. Yeah. Should be fine. It can't get through no more hell than what he put it through. So. No, no, no. It's about uh, cleaned up a little bit. And this is right spline, right? Yeah. It off the thing just, that looks like a drag car. <laughs> it did. With them bars and stuff, it looks it like a drag looks car. It's more home back here in the alley now. Yeah. Looks like it's interior's origin in the dirt. Mm hmm. We'll try to set down here. This guy's nice steering hooked up pretty good. Oh, yeah, see all the steering's yeah, well, new. Work like a damn champ right steering's there. Steering's new. That thing's got the bolt holes for that <coughs> Z bar bracket, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Should have all that shit. Got it. Alright, this motor case is what I call it. <laughs> This shell of a motor. Uh, lock up. Yeah. Small block. It's out. Then we got a that hole back here for the Z-bar plate. We got to drill it and try to get the bolt that somebody broke off out. And then they ground it flat and painted over it. So we get to try to do that. It should come right out. <laughs> should. Ain't. Reels it gets. <laughs> we had to make this hole and tap it. There was either a bolt broke off in there, which I think there was. Then we tried to put a tap in it, broke the tap off, and you know how the fuck that was. No, we broke the easy out out. Or the easy out, yeah, yeah, the easy out, not the tap. So. It went pink. So then we had to relieve both sides of it and kept tapping it with a damn uh, chisel. chisel and it come out. So. Nightmare. <laughs> Just always talking about that curveball blowing outside. <laughs> so I think we're gonna get to some bitch out. I lived it. But anyway. <laughs> anyway. We got some thread in there, so here we go. Roll it! I could probably go ahead and bolt that plate to there. No, I can't. It all has to go in like a puzzle. Alright. See the numbers? See that right there, that vent tube? Mm, that's a real 283. 283. Not just a number painted on the side. That ain't no fucking 434. It looks like a 283. That shit don't work. <laughs> Dark blocks. Not <laughs> bow tie blocks. <laughs> bow tie blocks. Got them 454s and shit like that. Oh, yeah. Shit ain't happening over here. But it is a good thing I didn't paint the number on the car yet of what cubic inch it is. That was question mark. That's what everybody needs. They just put a question mark up there. Question mark CI. Well, remember how long he used to have that? He said uh, his was a 396 question mark. Yeah, question mark. Always put a question mark on. Uh, it's 283. I got it's the tent right yonder. He, he had a pilot hole drill in that some bitch. He's like, should we go ahead and tap it? I was like, no, nah, let's use the right tool. Pull that out of there. You fucked that up. It? <laughs> no, it's fixed. I know it's fixed. Mm -hmm. Hell of a setback. Hell of a setback. <laughs> yeah, little stuff like that'll cost you an hour, two hours. Three hours. That was about an hour. Four and a quarter. <laughs> Four and a quarter hours. That's one more fucking thing. Oh, yeah. That's part of it, though. Still. Yeah. You can't stop a rolling stone. Mm -mm. I tell you, I'd much rather fix that three or four times than sit in the house. Sitting in the house that rain is just no, miserable. Out here dirty and working out here in the gravel is quiet. Nobody's bothering us. Mm -hmm. Up here in the alley, shit. Peace and quiet. It's 
Cool tradition. There it is. The star. I'm putting them on the bell housing too to keep my feet safe. We do, and you can't do your own stars. You have to have somebody else. You gotta let somebody else do your stars. Collaboration. Yeah, that's kind of the one on each head. Throw one right there in the middle of the timing cover if you can. You gotta have good luck on the top end as well. What? <laughs> probably tear up cardboard a little bit if you got to. We're firm believers in these stars. Don't run the stars. <laughs> that old 74 has got stars all over that it. Way, that way when you come and see it, you'll know it's a real deal. <laughs> you see stars on there, drive shafts, bell houses. Yeah. We ought to throw some on the rear end, ain't it? <laughs> Just for luck. <laughs> And that's high temperature paint, people. Yes, it is at high temperature. Yeah. yeah. Nothing but the best. High heat. Yep. I don't think Kerry Fox put no stars on his. Kerry ain't got no stars. All right, Kerry, you better get them out there, son. Put stars somewhere. Still as it gets. Oh my God, that's a gas Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> I just warded off all bad juju. <laughs> She's good, man. Another 110,000. Oh, check it out. I had to make some clearance for my Z bar and stuff. See? The floor is a little rusted. It's knocked a big hole in it. But there's a big dent, so it should clear now. And that's Sonny's scatter shield. Well, my scatter shield now, but thanks, Sonny. Avenger. Bless you, Sonny. And Jimmy Juhon's yeah. transmission. Jimmy Juhon's sign and seal right there. We're going to use them gears inside of it. Yeah, Jim, we're going to be re rebuilding that. We will be running that transmission with your name on it. We're going to, we got two to fix, so that's going to be one of them to fix. Motor's officially in. Yeah, the heart. Officially. 283. Got her all in there. Put the dummy tranny back on it for now. We've got bell housing and all that shit on it, so. She's all in there. I just want to, get, want to get it all set in there where he ain't got to come out here and work on it by himself and move a car around. Yeah. It went in pretty good, but still by yourself. It's, uh, you, have to, you can't move the chair pick, you got to roll the car. Yeah. So, and clear the damn oil filter. Oh, yeah, the oil yeah, oil yeah. See, see right there? See that steering arm? Clears everything with a stock pan. Yeah, stock pan. <laughs> yeah, that's not hard to <laughs> So, anyway. She's in, boy. That is awesome. Big chunk right there, motor's in calamity. I wonder how bad it bit. Get off me, spider. No matter what. I wonder how bad it bit in that rod. I, I it didn't did. bend it. Look. It's it it perfect. Like it it. Yeah. Good weather, nice. So we been oh, oh, oh. rain dried up for one day. So. We meant to have it done yesterday. Oh, well. We meant to have it done before Super Chevy. Yeah, oh, well. So it, just, it just takes a little while. <laughs> it takes a lot longer than what you think. Yeah, two hours is always safe. Especially when you got to make everything, fix everything, build everything, test oh, everything. Watch a roadkill day the same shit. They're like, oh, it'll be about an hour. Well, that means ten hours. Yeah. Is that a ghost dice? Y'all know how that works. It's in there. So. Mm -hmm. The mock-up worked out like a champ. You know, everything went right in there like it's supposed to. So. And that intake will be gone. Yeah. A total ram and two fours take care of that. Yep. <laughs> and then we're two matched up cobblers. That's one's off 57. They run like a champion. So yeah. We got to get him a bearing for the distributor and get that distributor set down in there. And uh, should be good to milk and go there. Well, I can start wiring yeah. now. Might See? Let's get the gas are ready, baby. That's what they're going up for. It'll do like a 57 and just yank the front. <laughs> it won't be weight transfer. It'll just be yank. So I gotta wire it, get it running, do the interior, 
the front brakes work. I don't know about the brake. I'd have to get another mattress on. I think I do. I'd have to get the mattress on off of a 76 TV pickup. If it ain't plastic, we'll put it on there. <coughs> there we go. All right. Let's go on that. It's that roll. <laughs> They'll fall off the bank. Off the Look, bank. we've got stuff scattered. I mean, gosh. Oh, this is Hot Rod Alley right here. This is just the way it is. This is true Hot Rod building right here. Got crickets, a damn hood owl. Ain't seen no raccoon. It's nice and cool. Fall's almost here. The leaves are falling. No, it's October. Fall's here. Uh, you see all the needles and shit coming down. <laughs> the best way to weather your car? Yeah. Leave it in the weather. If you, want, if you want potato, leave it outside. Front end back on, clean everything up. And we're done for night. Well, wrap, but guess something new. Yeah, the motor is in it, which means I can start doing all the little stuff now. The next thing, next weekend, I guess we'll see if we're in. Don't say that. Oh, I ain't seen shit. Never mind. Next weekend, we'll see what happens. Next weekend should be another weekend on it. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Look how far down that is. It's lonesome without the tunnel ram. But that's a wrap. Cleaned up. All right, I'm sick today, sore throat, so I'll try not to talk too much. But got the intake off, everything cleaned up. This motor used to puff smoke real bad, and I tucked that little stethoscope looking thing, run down the cylinders, all the cylinders. They have no oil buildup, no soot buildup on top of them, on the all top of the pistons. So I'm gonna stick with thinking that it's uh, crankcase pressure that's causing the puff out like that. So I'm gonna do something different, like, but anyway. Oh. Putting the intake stuff on it. So there's supposed to be a canister right here with a little baffle thing in it. But, there's the intake, all that. The gasket kit, whole rebuild kit. So, too bad here in a minute. I went there digging. Dad had this put in his toolbox. The very, very bottom of the toolbox. That's exactly what I was looking for. This was supposed to be in this motor. See that hole right there? This is supposed to slide in there. See that little bolt hole and bolt in. To keep all that oil and stuff from blowing all over the place. It's called a uh, oil separator. All the early blocks had these because there was no PCV set up yet. So all the original small blocks had these right here in them. So that's what mine's gonna have. It's real deal old school stuff. It's out of dad's 57. See? That's how it goes. That's how they work right there. <laughs> Fence out, come through this, and you can actually put a PCV in this and run into the intake and have your breather out the front. But that's how it works. There used to be a downdraft tube that run behind the back of these blocks run down to the ground and that's how it vented but I'm gonna run a PCV into it run it into the intake and let it breathe out the front of the intake I got the header painted the water pump on the pulleys on the alternator on the alternator bracket the intake on valve covers painted found that little filler tube painted it oh there's the other header progress a little at a time. Just bolting stuff on right now. <clears throat> Tomorrow I'm gonna set the radiator stuff in it, radiator shroud, uh, water neck, plumb the lines for the uh, water pump and all that. Put my fan on, see, put stars on my fan here. Paint it white with orange stars. I don't know why. I just did it. 
but uh, I guess I'll do that tomorrow. Tighten all these bolts and stuff up. Put my Z bar back on. Put the headers on. Drop a distributor down in there. Make sure it goes in like it's supposed to. Set the carbs on it. Hook up the rest of the fuel line right there. Hook it up under the back. Then start wiring. Let's get some ignition. All right, I got the headers on. All the pulleys, the fan, the radiator, um, the field tube in the front for the for the breather and oil fill into the block. Let me see. Got my hoses cut. This is one off of a pickup truck, and then that one down there. I ain't sure what that's off of, but. My shroud might have cleared, but everything was real close and tight, and I couldn't really get it in there. So, <laughs> well, I set it up with the shroud, everything cleared fine. But that, I guess that water pump sticks out a little further than the one I was going to use. So the one I was going to use is laying over on the table, but it'll be fine, I think. Brackets and stuff I built because these heads have no accessory holes because they're all hump heads. Stuck a grommet inside of a grommet with these little O rings. Knock that down in there. It's real good and tight. See? Won't come out. And now I just got to put the valve cover gaskets on the valve covers and drop a distributor down in there. Make sure the distributor will clear. Then I gotta take another distributor apart, see if I can find one of them bearings inside to fit MSD style. That thing looks like it's lifted up, don't it? And we'll see. But making progress, making all this little stuff is what takes up so much time. But once you do it, like Dad says, it's done. So. But what's pretty wild is this looks just like dad's motor <laughs> in the 57 it's crazy it's just like it all right uh that was stripped out i had a jb weld to stud into that but I made this it's a little bracket bolts against the firewall with the spring so it's adjustable i can pull it further back for stiffer or come up for lighter spring pressure but It works and that whole linkage and stuff's tight now inside the car. Oh man, that's awesome. The actual rod itself ain't tied. I gotta put a nut on the other side of that. Which right there it is. So I'll tighten that up. That'll eliminate that movement there. But that works like a charm, man. My bad. This is the final put together. Everything that's going in now is permanent. Carburetor setup's all done. Valve covers are on. Headers are on. Radiators in. Start to look like a motor, ain't it? That's a wrap. I'm going home. I'm still sick. I'm tired.
pulls mounter. I dropped a distributor down in it. Batteries mounted with the battery tied down. That ain't coming out. So, whole car moves. And I fix this hole on the floor. There's a big old rusted hole in the floor. So I fix that. Now I just gotta paint it. Those wheels we dug out of the junk pile actually fit and they're clear. Out of my tape. Should be able to see it pretty good out right there, I reckon. See. Yeah, it should be good. Probably could move it over to that hole right yonder. See, I put it up here because I got all these holes. It'd probably be good right yonder. Be able to look at it real quick before I take off. Maybe I'll move it. But it's in here. floor. Fix that panel back here. Plumb that. And the water temperature. Put this on. See that little plate back here? Patch it up and drill the hole to run all my wiring out through. Didn't do a whole bunch, but it's more than what I had done. So, but yeah, the wheels fit, clear everything. Just gotta get some tires for them. But I'm tired and hungry. Still a little sick, not as bad as I was. But I'm going home. Wiring. Here in the ignition box. I'm doing a whole new fuse panel. Everything's new. All this junk is going to be gone, cut out. But that's what we're doing right now wire. <laughs> what are you looking for? Pieces? I know. Look, this brand new ain't even been opened yet. Yeah, we're saving it. The grand finale. <laughs> grand finale. We ain't good at wiring, so it don't expect much of that work. We are great at wiring. Do they run? Yes. Look back there in the tail lights. We don't even have any damn the bulbs and other shit to go into light, so we're going to use 72 Monte Carlo. Yeah. Make them work the whole heart. <laughs> On the front, we've got, we got the thing for the front here. We're going get it, to get it where she's got fire to the motor first, and then we'll worry about the lights. Yeah, that's what I said. If she don't run, they don't need to see. <laughs> no, not at all. But we'll two make it here in a little bit. But that, them, we don't even have to have it at the rear. We, we ain't got no tail lights. We'll put one of them bicycle. Bling, 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 the blinking lights on it. And I'll flip it on like a computer and send him in. Yeah, we'll fly stick all the way. No cart light. <laughs> It just needs to run. We'll take a flashlight to pop over there. It just has to run and stop. Yeah. Whoa and go. Whoa and go. <laughs> All right, but that, a little bit that's what we're doing. And I probably do need to buy another master cylinder. I forgot about that. The fire going so much away. We got a new switch. Mm -hmm. Rebuilt that distributor. I'll show you all the part number for the bearing because that bearing was bad in it. Quite expensive, so we can save you a lot of money. Yeah, if you want to send it to MSD, it'll be 45 to 120 dollars, what they said, and all they do is replace a bearing. But you can look up this number. Where did I put that thing at? Here it is. This one cost me, I think, a dollar and 18 cents or a dollar and 80 cents. This number right here, that see that. That is the bearing for an MSD distributor. Exact fit. Perfect. Tax in. Yeah. Tax included. It was a dollar. It was a dollar eighty, not eighteen. Eight eighteen. Dollar eight a dollar eighty. But that's it right there. That number right there.
There's another number. That's just the manufacturer or whatever, but that's the number you need. MSD bearing. It's for the shaft. Call MSD. They'll charge you 45 to 120 bucks for it. Don't do that. It's not 45 to 120 to fix it, but you know it's never 45. And you got to pay to ship it to them. Yeah, the shipping. They'll probably jack you for another 10 or 20 on shipping. Oh, yeah. It's never whatever. It's 45 to whatever, but it ain't going to be no 45. No. No, 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 no. It's not 45. They'll be like, oh, hell, it was a damn uh, muffler bearing bad. Anyway. Yeah, it was special. Specialty got them. And over that bearing, they run the same damn place we did. But that's what we're doing. We're wiring. Try to get some fire somewhere. We'll be back in a little bit. Spark something to do something. <laughs> Maybe get shocked again. We don't use a test light. We just arc them together. That's hot. Here's the cold. They'll all be red, so it makes no difference. But they will be labeled. Yeah, we will label them. Yeah. Masking tape, the best masking but we tape. have all that colored wiring over there, but we're doing with all scrap. Yeah, why, do, why do it normal? It's cool. We do it like nice. Yeah. All right, we'll get back here in a minute. All right, it'll be fine.